Hey there miners, we're doing another brand spotlight. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Newitz knife, a Newitz knife. Uh, this video is brought to you by Newitz. So it does come in a nice box. And with this box, you can slide it out. I've already taken the knife out, but we'll put it back in there. This is the knife we're looking at. The number will be in the description. Uh, it's called the Land Cruiser, but uh, you're going to need to find it through the number. Uh, obviously, it comes with a cloth, and it has a little bit of an embroidery. Kind of the same logo, like a rhino looking thing. And then the information package. And I haven't taken a look at that. It says, focus on handmade knives. So, let's take a peek at the knife here. Uh, from what I could tell, it's G10 handle. It's really nice. It's contoured. So it kind of just has that nice roundness. It's what you're looking at for the pocket clip. So it's not real deep carry. The lanyard hole, which goes through the liners, the back spacer, which is pretty cool. Drilled out there. Jimping here, pretty aggressive. Thumb stud, there's your pivot. More jimping, take a look at the liners here. And I've seen this pivot on a lot of Tucson's. Not saying this is a Tucson knife. Just kind of wanted to say it looks familiar. So that's what your handle's looking like. There's your flipper tab. It does have some jimping. So let's go ahead and open this one up. I'm going to zip this up a little bit. And okay so like I said very uh, interesting looking blade uh, it's marked here with the Land Cruiser it's got this fuller and then it's got these cutouts and those are actual you know they're they're cut out got a swedge up here And it's got a compound grind on the tip, if you guys can see that. There's your fuller. And there's those. I have no idea if these serve a purpose here. So, what are we looking at here? Yeah, number 0462. I don't know what that means. We'll see later on if that's the... Uh, model number. You can see the cutouts right there. Okay. Now I can tell you this. Let's take a look at the lockup. Yeah, it's a little early. 25, maybe getting to 30. Uh, has excellent, excellent drop on this. So let's see if I can do that again. Okay, so I really enjoy that. This is a right at the $50 range. We got your uh, G10 and D2 steel, super action. We do have a thumb stud here, but I'm having trouble. It's actually just a little lower than the scale. So again, you kind of got to get in the right spot if you can figure that out. Uh, you can get the There we go, but if you come at it. Oh I got it. That's like four in a row. That's my best one so far uh, Let's take a peek At how it cuts so with paper Feeling a little jaggy Factory edge that was a little better that one was pretty smooth. And I'm about a foam peanut here. Yeah, that's that's pretty good with the foam peanuts there. That does that's what I consider 
good. Okay. We'll break it out, compare it to the rat. This one is not a factory edge. I haven't actually tested this one. Okay. This I sharpened using my Edge Pro. And that, my friends, is what you want when you have an, your knife, you know? So, this is catching up now. Again, every time I tell you guys uh, it's a sharp knife, it, it wants to fail. So, uh, let's move on here. Get that out of the way. Get the rat. Line this one up. That's what you guys are looking at. So very similar to the rat in terms of size. And let's see. Let's see what we got here. In terms of blade stock, it's a little thicker. It's got a longer blade. So that's what you're looking at there. Rat's got more of a lockup. This actually has some pretty decent sized liners. And when we get into the handles, I think. Uh, it's just, it's 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 kind of fat right here, you know, right there, and right right here. As I try to, you know, let's see, I pulled into this top part where the rat. See that other one's coming up here. The rat's not quite quite there. So the jimping on the rat. Uh, this one's actually pretty good. It's much smaller, but it does have some effectiveness. So, all right guys, that's the newest knife, new Woods knife. And that's available on Amazon for just under $50. They do have a variety, but they really stretch out there. Uh, they got their Damascus steels, uh, and they're just over a hundred and, and, and more. So, thanks for checking out the video.